TV. So today we're going to be discussing the difference between a toy grade RC car and a hobby grade RC car. So a few of the first things you may notice off the bat is their remotes. This one's got more of a pistol grip remote in which you hold it like this and steer like this. Your throttle's going to be down here, steering's right here. Whereas on what you would call a toy grade RC remote, it's got its joystick right here for forward and backward, then your steering's right here. It may have some other buttons for other features. So on a hobby grade RC car, their battery will look something like this where you have wires coming out of it that you actually plug into the truck. Whereas on a toy grade, you have a battery, it's typically a nightcap, that you slide into the bottom or the back of the car. What really is the difference between a toy grade and a hobby grade RC car? Well, for one, you probably already noticed this. When I drop the hobby grade, it's got suspension. And it's meant to take big jumps and big drops. Whereas the toy grade it doesn't have suspension. Try and push it down and you'll just hear cracking noises because you're probably breaking it. So why does that all matter? Like for street cars, why would we need that? Well, suspension can help with bumps. And if you don't have suspension, it can cause some issues. So the difference between the steering of a toy grade and then a hobby grade RC, hobby grade toy grade, is in the steering. With a toy grade RC, it's either full steer or no steer in both directions. And also, as you can see here, the steering radius isn't very much. Whereas if you come here to the hobby grade RC, you get much more steering. But then also this has what's called proportional steering. Proportional steering is when you're able just to steer a little bit or you can steer a lot. You, there are unlimited positions for your steering. The more you turn the wheel on the remote, the more you steer. So on this car, it being a toy grade, you have no access to the motor. The motor in this thing is mounted under here. Whereas if you come over here to a hobby grade RC car, Pop your body pins off. You have access to your motor, which in this vehicle, since it's two wheel drive also, it's right here. On a hobby grade car, you can remove the body, which I have done here. The body, which you can get replacements for, just pops right off the car. What's the price difference is another question. So on a hobby grade RC car, you can get, this is a tent scale, you can get a tent scale hobby, R, uh, hobby grade RC car starting at about $120. Um, and that'll get you a basic brushed two wheel drive, which will be able to go roughly 25 miles an hour but you can get all the way up to where they are costing you like $1,200. And that's a huge fifth scale brushless RC car that's capable of going over 70 miles an hour. Now, how much does a toy grade RC car cost? Well, a toy grade RC car cost about between the price range of 10 and $100. And it's mostly for the size and features like this one has working lights this one doesn't because i haven't put any on but the working lights on this are something that would cost you a little extra also 
speed. This truck here has got a custom brushless system in it, or an aftermarket brushless system that's capable of propelling the truck to go speeds over 90 miles an hour. This thing can go nine. So there's a big difference in speed. If you're just really getting, getting into the hobby and you're wondering should you get a toy grade or hobby grade, this isn't even a question. Hobby grade's the way to go. Hobby grade will allow you to start going reasonable pace. You'll get bored fast with the toy grade. And you'll be able to have reasonable speed with this. And it'll also teach you a lot. And hobby grade RCs are great. So thanks for watching today's video on the differences between toy grade and hobby grade. Also, if you like today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.